Okay, so uh, I couldn't resist. I just wanted to show, uh, as you can see here, we've just got the APM with the XB uh, my, um, uh, receiver. You can see there's no connections from the APM to the uh, the minimum here. This was actually uh, the lead it was connected to before. And here we have the uh, RG station has previously shown we've got the uh, XB USB plugged straight in there uh, that USB is just to uh, um, really just to power it at the moment um, but um, for the XB itself what we're going to do you can see we've got nothing on the screen there uh, but our camera is plugged in we've got the power source I don't know if you can see the lights there um, now as soon as we power up the Arger station it's going to provide the 5 volts for volt to the minimum and there you go and that's the movement as I said there's a bit of a delay but the delay itself uh, comes from the fact that this video source goes through a DVD player I don't think that sort of delay uh, considering it's coming through 900 megahertz at probably I think it's um, uh, 56k it's the eventual speed it hits we've got a terrible satellite at the moment I've only just turned the APM on uh, and in terms of how that's connected just a simple servo lead so port 1 and 2 on these are actually uh, both ground Second port, third port is the 5 volts, which is all the minimum needs to work on the Mavlink side of things. And pin number 4 is our RX, same as the D0 uh, on the on the ATmega328, which is D2, D0 on the XP. Oh, look at that, we've got two sats. Fantastic.